What's going on with your boys, man? It's DJ Cuts back with another video. And today, I'm going to be showing y'all boys how to do a high tip step-by-step -step tutorial. Now let's get into it. As you see, we're starting with the back taper because it takes the longest. So right now, we're putting our first ball guy line in using the bottom of the ear lobes as a reference point. Then we're going to go ahead and clean up all that hair. Next, we're gonna go in with our lever all the way open, making our next guideline a full inch because it's the back taper. You wanna keep them guidelines stretched so that the fade blends perfect. Next, we're gonna come in with our lever halfway and then we're gonna gradually close it so we can make that transition to that blend look good and make that line easier to take out next we're gonna come in with our one and a half guard just debulking all that hair that you see so we can get ready to put in our next guy line Make sure you're brushing, you're combing, so you can see the hair that you're cutting off. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to see what you're cutting. Next, we're gonna come in with our one guard closed. Just flicking out to set that next guy line in. And you wanna make sure it's about a finger's width. Now we're gonna come in with our half guard. We're gonna start off open and gradually close it just to make sure it's not cutting too much at first. And we're just taking out that guy line from the one to the five notches area. Now we're gonna come in with our lever open to do the detail work, get all the extra hairs that we couldn't get. You wanna make sure you're using the corner of the blade. We do this so you don't cut too much hair off. As well as flicking out. Now to start our taper off, we're gonna come in with our trimmers to make that first skyline from the uh, bottom of the vertical bar. And I like to make mines round so I can get that, that burst look. When you put that guy line in, you wanna make sure you use some trimmers that are not too zero gap so you can end up taking the line out. Otherwise, it's gonna be real hard to take that line out. Now we're gonna come in with our lever all the way open, making that guy line about a half inch. And like I said, I like to take my guy lines out as soon as I put them in. So you're gonna see me gradually close it all the way till close to blend that all the way out. Now we're gonna come in with our one and a half guard, deep open, so we can set in our next guy line. And make sure we have a clean canvas when we set it in. Next, we're gonna come in with our one guard all the way 
way close. Just flicking out between that area from the one and a half and that half to get that blend nice and smooth. And like I said, when you do this, you wanna make sure that you're using the corner of your blade or you're flicking out so you don't set in another guideline on accident. And you also wanna make sure that you're brushing multiple times and going over it multiple times. Right here, we're gonna come in with our one guard clothes, keep bulking with the grain, just to get that hair at the top to make it look more smoother. Right here, we got our half guard on, taking out our last guy line, using our corners and flicking out to take that last guy line out. And when you do this, you wanna make sure that you always start it off open and then gradually close it so that you're not taking too much hair off. Now we're gonna go ahead and start the neck lines. We're gonna come in and you wanna make sure you're using the corner of the blade in a circular motion to get around the ear so that you're not digging into the taper. And when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you go over it multiple times and let the trimmer do its job. Don't dig in because it's a very sensitive area and just ensure that you're taking your time. this side I'm gonna let y'all just watch and we're gonna do the same exact steps and I'm gonna see y'all at the lineup We're going to start our lineup by starting in the middle, working our way to the left side, then to the right side.
like every other part of the cut, you wanna make sure that you're brushing that front line down so that you make sure you get every hair possible. Right here, we're gonna type in my client's vertical bar. His vertical bar is very light, so we wanna make sure that we still treating it like there's hair there and not pushing it back. Now right here, we're just working our way to the right side, we're doing the same thing we did to the left side. Tapping in his vertical bar, not pushing too hard, just letting the trimmers do his job. Here, I'm just going over the lineup a couple more times just to ensure that I get every hair possible. And as y'all see, it's already crispy without enhancements. requested enhancements so we're just gonna come in with our card and our enhancements and make sure we spraying at the right angle just to make that lineup and taper pop a little more We're just going over that front line after we put the enhancements on. And as y'all can see, real crispy, man. the pencil on it as well so we'll go ahead and get them right with the pencil too when you do this you want to make sure that you not drawing it on the hairline you want to make sure that you're drawing it right it's right there that lineup one more time so we can tap that pencil in and make the contrast look nice and clean and when you do this you want to make sure that you're switching trimmers so you're not causing any irritation to the skin or breaking the skin making it cause them to bleed
see, man, the cuts fire. My client was happy. I know a happy client when I see one. You wanna make sure you put that alcohol or any type of aftershave on it to stop any burns or irritation, bumps, any of that. Keep it clean. At the end of the video, as y'all see the cuts fire, man. If y'all like the video, hit that little thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. Make sure y'all boys subscribe, man. As y'all see my boy happy. And we out. Yeah, right here. Yes, sir.